Today's recipe harks from a simpler time, an old fashioned country style recipe that's fruity and dense and perfect for weekend cooking. Let's make a fruity tea loaf on the One Pot Chef. <music> First things first, we need to make some tea. So I've got two tea bags. You can use any kind of tea you like. Two tea bags into a container, and to that I'm going to add in one cup of boiling water. Just out of the kettle will do. And we're just going to allow that to brew for about five minutes or so. In a heat-proof bowl, I've got two cups of dried fruit. I'm using sultanas, but you could use raisins, you could use diced up dried apricots, you could use mixed dried fruit, whatever you fancy, as long as it's small little bits. And to that, we're going to pour in the tea. I've just removed the tea bags. Just pour it over the dried fruit. And we're just going to let this stand for about half an hour. I've transferred our fruit mixture into a large mixing bowl, and to that I'm adding in 125 grams of butter, which I've just melted. Three quarters of a cup of white sugar. I'm just using caster sugar or super fine white sugar. Two eggs. Quarter of a cup of milk. One and a half cups of plain flour. And one teaspoon of baking powder. And just stir that together. I have a loaf tin here, which I've just greased and lined with some nonstick baking paper. And we're just going to pour our batter in. And this is ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about an hour and 10 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the center comes out clean. And that's our fruity tea loaf out of the oven. Smells absolutely incredible. If you love the smell of a baking cake and smell of freshly brewed tea, this is definitely for you. We're gonna leave this in the tin for about five minutes before transferring it onto a wire rack to cool. And I've just sliced up our fruity tea loaf and it's absolutely amazing. So moist and dense and all that beautiful fruit in there. I'm going to have a taste right now. Mmm. <laughs> Still hot. <laughs> oh, wow. Mmm. -mm. Mm. You get that beautiful burst of the fruit. You got that background flavour of the tea. It's moist and it's dense. So, so good. You can have this just by itself. You could put a little bit of butter on it, serve it like banana bread. So delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later.